What are my top 10 champions that I want in this game? The game of Marvel Contest of Champions, of course. Now, this comes up from a viewer suggestion. Somebody just wanted to find out what are my top 10 champions that have to come to this game? Now, my previous characters that I wanted to be champions in this game were Apocalypse, Professor Xavier, Odin, Legion, Quicksilver, Mystique, Captain Britain, Nova, Adam Warlock, and Misty Knight. I think that was back uh, late 2019. I think I've done a follow-up video in the past, but they seem to be like the ones that seem to come up the most. However, though, some of those champions, Nova, Quick, uh, no, not Quicksilver, getting ahead of myself, that Odin, Professor X, and Apocalypse have come into the game. And some of those on the list that I'd like to come into the game, I've completely given up on. I've given up on the idea that Caban will put them in, especially with Mystique and as well Quicksilver. I just don't think that Caban would bring them in. And if they did, I don't know when. Maybe when they've kind of like fixed a load of stuff and the ability for, for quick movement and shape shifting, which is two things that's very difficult to put in and make solid within the game. They've tried and we'll see what happens in the future, but I just don't think. So I've given up on those two. So let's have a look at my new list. Now with all this talk of Wolverine and also the fact that we've got so many in game, I would love to see his son. Dakin. Now Dakin has been good, he's been bad, he's done some really horrible heinous things to the Punisher and if you're familiar with Frankencastle you'll know how that kind of like starts for, for, for one and how he smashes the other. It's a very gritty storyline. And you might be thinking yeah Dakin is a lot similar to Wolverine but he has a little bit more with the edge especially with how he interacts with things like uh, disease, toxins and things like that. But also I think he's a little bit more savage than Wolverine. So I really would like to see Dakin come into the game at a later date. Now, Ares is number two on the list. Ares has been a character that's been in the Marvel Contest of Champions comic book series. But also I think there's more of a better time as of now to put him into the game. He's had plenty of interactions with some main characters. He possesses a lot of things that would be quintessential of a cosmic or slightly mystical character, which let's face it, we all know Caban would probably best off with putting, making him as a skill, but having these kind of very unique abilities as a skill character. But I think the one main standout point is creating a very important event. And that event would be to have a massive rivalry between Hercules and Ares. You could even put in Aegon, the champion, and have this very much kind of like gladiatorial thing, similar to what we had back in uh, June, I think it was, or July, I think it was July actually, July of last month, which is uh, that kind of, um, okay, well, you're, it's kind of a challenge-y type, type thing or kind of a battle arena type scenario. So yeah, I really would like to see that. Next up on our list is Wiccan. Wiccan has been a character which I think would be very good for this game, very powerful and definitely put that link between Scarlet Witch and also Vision. Now we don't really have a super powerful Vision, but you know, Vision does what it needs to do. And let's, let's just say that it probably get a buff down the line. But Wiccan is an incredibly powerful mystical character, even more so it could be compared with the likes of Scarlet Witch. There's literally no end of what this character could do and how powerful it could be within the contest. And I think it's really good to start these kind of new Avengers, which we'll be seeing at a later date in the MCU, and also following, you know, uh, events of uh, just so many different things. Uh, but I just feel Wiccan would be an amazing addition for this game. And I still got hope that this character could be in it, maybe even with his brother as well zipping around and being quite speedy. I mean, look, we saw them in the television show WandaVision. So, look, Wick into the game, I'd love to see it. A new entry on my list has got to be Polaris. Now, it's really important to look at mutants that are really powerful, and Polaris is definitely amongst them. The character is included in the story arc of House of X, which is important because I think Kabam are trying to go towards that as a push, and also with having a great, like, you know, uh, mutants in Krakoa, which seemed to be something of the last year, it would be good to add more mutants into that particular story arc. So a House of X character, House of X champion, in shape and form of Polaris would be great. It also would be cool to have a second champion, or third if you count the House of X version of Magneto, that interact with hashtag metal. So this definitely could be one of those. Polaris does stand out in her own rights doing specific different things. And there's a lot of things when it comes to, uh, you know, electric ma electromagnetic sight, magnetic flight, which, okay, look, Magneto gets. But other things as well when it comes to geoma geomagnetic link, organic iron manipulation and several other things as well but let's face it it's it is very much a 
Magneto offshoot. But still, like, it still would be good to see a secondary champion able to interact with hashtag metal. Next on my list is Dazzler. For a lot of players, you'll know that we had the, cho the choice with the champion's choice to potentially put Dazzler in as one of those champions. And, you know, we, we chose who we chose and it is what it is. But Dazzler was still amongst the list to be put into the game. Dazzler has always been embroiled with different stories, whether or not it's stuff to do with X-Men, the Beyonder, and so much more. And even though she's not considered to be one of the most powerful mutants, she can still hold her own within fighting different champions. With this one being all about sound, her musical background, it can really have a different effect. I mean, you look at Black Bolt, he's in the game, and he indeed does stuff when it comes to uh, sound-based damage or interaction with that. But yeah, there's loads of things as well. Light projection, blinding flash, lasers, photon blasts. There's a lot of stuff there. And I think even though that she's not rated as the highest on the damage scale, I'm sure that if she was put into game, Kabam could do her justice, which fingers crossed we hope that, she, that, that they would do her justice. Now on to a personal favorite of mine, which is the unworthy Thor. Thor has gone for a lot of like dark trials and tribulations and I like the story arc that this is presented with, especially to gain that destroyer arm which he has and also the utilization of uh, Yamborn. There's a bit of a kind of like, well, I don't know whether or not this is like, is this Stormbreaker, is this Yamborn, what he's in, in fact using. But then it's like, it's just so many, so many things going on with this. I just like the idea of Thor with a destroyer arm with Yamble. The closest thing that you've seen to this is Marvel Realm of Champions. In Marvel Realm of Champions, you can customize your character the way that you like. And at least to say that the destroyer arm with the rarity is there. And as well, the kind of get up and garb is actually quite there as well. So the uniform and the appearance, except for the Mjolnir. But in other pieces of artwork, you can clearly see that in the future, which they don't have at the moment, in the future, they're going to add in the Yamborn. I know a lot of people want to see Stormbreaker Thor, and especially the film version. To me, it just doesn't make a lot of sense, because the Stormbreaker that I know is the Golden Hammer that Beta Ray Bill is holding. You might think, I, it's not even going to make my list, Beta Ray Bill, this time. Well, I just think it's one of these situations of going like, yes, he should be put in. Uh, it's just a case of going like, my hopes for years of having that character and it's just like it's just gone so i would like beta ray bill but i just don't think that he's going to come in uh for a long while uh, you know whilst we're kind of like still padding out the game and movie characters haven't come back as well moving now onto a character that i really want to see and that is misty knight it's always been misty knight i'd love to see within the game especially because she's a badass with a robotic arm that is just like another great skill character to put into the game. And she's done a lot. She's been about for quite a while, getting herself involved with different, 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 different things. And Misty Knight has got herself involved with so many different things, whether or not it's the uh, new heroes for hire with yeah, the, the Charlie's Angels of just assassins and badasses. Or she's been involved with stuff with trying to take down Hydra. So, uh, you know, she's, she's done several different things, has the robotic arm, which I think is absolutely amazing. Uh, but yeah, there's not like a huge host of things. I just think that it will be just a badass skill character to put in within Marvel Contest of Champions. Now, one character that stays on my list is going to be Captain Britain. I'm not being all patriotic or anything. It's just a case of like Captain Britain is kind of like now. I think more relevant because of the, um, the Peggy Carter side of things. Although it's kind of weird that I think it was like the Captain America Twitter account posted something about Peggy Carter and it's just like well hang on well if she's got the super serum and she's British she would technically be Captain Britain to a degree. The thing that really sets out Brian Brannock and why I love it is the touch on the history with King Arthur like Merlin giving I think he goes to Captain Britain so Brian Braddock, go, Braddock, Brian Braddock goes to uh, goes to Avalon which if you don't know is kind of like the um, that's the kind of like afterlife where um, or kind of like the other world of uh, what is the UK and it's just there's a lot of kind of mythology to it which I absolutely love and especially having Merlin there gets a mystical talisman boom powers and smash now he's uh, Captain Britain. And yeah, Captain Britain has a whole host of powers and he's pretty badass. He's kind of like, well, he's kind of like Captain America in, in essence. Uh, yeah, it's just that like he's really cool. You can get flight. So, you know, that's, you know, one in the favor of, of this character. But yeah, there's a lot of different abilities and he is he's pretty cool. I just love to see him in the game. And now on to the two most powerful and finishing off my list. It's got to be Legion. This is still something I think is a, a bit of a and ask and a wish when it comes to getting Legion in. Legion is, or David Haller, is actually one of the most powerful beings, powerful mutants, 
uh, on the planet, especially because he takes in different personalities and he's able to, uh, to kind of, well, you know, pretty much do anything, steal powers and be the best. He has the most wicked hairstyle, which is even better than mine when I'm properly, properly do my hairstyle, where he kind of sticks it right on end uh, and it's absolutely amazing. His, um, his outfit is weird as anything as well, but it's just a cool character and I really would like to see it in game. Being the son of Charles Xavier, you expect big things, but I just don't know if Kabam are willing to put in something that is literally, he'd probably be like a better boss, a more painful boss than he would be a playable champion, but uh, hey, wishful thinking, you know. Now on to an incredibly amazing cosmic character that has been genetically built and that is Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock has done so many things. He's wielded the Infinity Gauntlet, he's taken down Thanos, he's taken on Galactus. He is an incredibly powerful being. I just don't know if I see this being something that we put into Marvel Contest of Champions. Again, same principle. He'd be better as a villain as, a, as opposed to a playable character or champion. But you just can't go against the fact he's incredibly powerful and he's a bit of a bit of a badass of the cosmic world. Alluded to in the Guardians of the Galaxy second film and whether or not we see him in the third, hey, I, I don't know. I don't know if Marvel are ready in order to de deliver him as a, um, you know, as a character for us to watch on the big screen. But, you know, hey, fingers crossed, wishful thinking and all those things. And there we go, everybody. That has been my top 10 list of characters I'd love to see come into Marvel Contest of Champions, updated for August of 2021. I'll probably do something in December. Do bear in mind, we've got September, we've got October, November, and December. So that's potentially eight more champions to come into the game. Who knows, they could be one of the many ones right here and I could be absolutely excited about them. Although there are some pretty decent champions to, to still come in the game and also in at the moment. Yeah, have an awesome day, whatever you're doing. Please check out some other content located on screen right now and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.